Today marks my last big session before I start the taper for the Houston Marathon. Will it give me the confidence boost I need going into the race, or will it make me want more time that I don't have? Let's find out. Today is a little bit of a marathon dress rehearsal day. I tend to do a few of these in the last few weeks of a block where I try and do everything as closely as I believe I will do it before the race to just notice if there's anything that needs tweaking. So last night we had, what did we have for dinner? Chicken, rice and a tiny bit of veg. And I probably won't even have the tiny bit of veg. Like I had a tiny bit of edge because you just tend to take everything that's kind of risky out of your diet. Veg adds extra fiber. I don't need extra fiber on race day because my body's clearing that system out just fine. So yeah, had similar race dinner, got eight hours and 50 minutes of sleep. We went to bed super early. Breakfast this morning was porridge with nothing added to it. And so I'm patching my foot up because I have this risk blister area here, which is very dry because it's very dry up here. And I'm also gonna be wearing the SC Elite V4s, which are not actually out yet for people to buy in the public, but they'll be out in sort of end of Jan, Feb time. Um, I'm allowed to race in them, but I have had to go half a size up. And when I wore my usual size, when I did the lactate testing, you might have noticed that I changed out of them for the second test uh, and put the V3s on and that's because I got a blister. So I'm patching up where the blister was and I'm wearing the half size up today for the workout. And if that goes well, then I'll wear them for the marathon. So that's the, the little blister setup. This is actually the best blister treatment and prevention setup I've ever had. So we have this skin on skin, these little jelly pad things that just keeps it wet and patch it up. We're wearing some good socks. And I'm also gonna test out these nose strips that you might have seen people wear that open up your nasal, nasal passages. nostrils, nasal passages <laughs> to help you breathe better through your nose. Um, to see if I don't mind wearing that and then I might wear it on race day. And uh, yeah, we've got the drinks going. Timings and everything is, you know, as similar as it gets. The only difference is I'm not running a marathon. So yeah, if anyone's got a big important race coming up, doesn't have to be a marathon, but something that you've set as a key goal, I'd highly recommend doing a couple of dress rehearsal days for, you know, a big long run or a big session. Test out your race shoes, your race kit, everything that you're gonna use on race day, your routine, the timings of it all, running at the time, you're gonna run the race because if nothing else it can settle a bit of the nerves because you've kind of done everything as you're gonna do it on race day apart from doing the thing um, and you know that your kit your strategies your fuel all of that stuff um, it works or if it doesn't then you know that you need to tweak it so My nose looks wider. Mm. Mm. What's that noise? Nah, nah, nah. Don't roll an ankle, Daniel. <laughs> oh no, the car's frozen. Oh no. Let's see if this works.
All right, what's the session today? This session today is a bigger version of a half marathon session that I've shared on this channel before, which is the six by a mile of a half a mile float. We're doing eight today. So eight by a mile, all off a half a mile float. So it's 12 in total with a warm up and cool down. It'll be 18. I'm going to do drinks every 3.1-ish miles to practice that. And um, the paces have been adjusted. So normally at sea level, I feel like I'll do these at like 5.20 to 5.30. And today it's like 5.40 to 5.50. Um, if I feel good towards the end, come down to 5.30. And the float is kind of a minute slower than that. But Helen said, you know, if, if it gets super tough, prioritize the reps being on pace and let the floats kind of slip a little bit to recover a bit more because we're at 7,000 feet so and there's a little bit of a hill on the way out but um that's fine we will just take it in our stride i guess i'll do some maths no i'll just check my total when i need to take the drink okay because it'll be 3.1 6.2 9.3 and then I'll be yeah. done by the time I would take another one. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. It's kind of windy, a bit chilly, yeah, it's, but we'll yeah. warm up. What's the goal? The goal is to be uneventful, unimpressive and average. Nice. Because that's all we need at this point. Cool. Sounds like a good time for me. Let's get it done. Let's go. You got this, baby. Good. It's like a gradual uphill the whole way out, but that means once you flip, good. you get a nice little treat, except from the last one that comes up again. You're past our way, babe. All right, just two more hard efforts to go. Right, let's show hands. How you feeling? how much of um, the first four were uphill <laughs> when we came back and I was like wow this is easier because <laughs> it's down it's definitely the right way around though although failed on one of the session goals what was that and that was definitely not average <laughs> <laughs> that was good <laughs> gross <laughs> <clears throat> listen who said running was a sexy sport me <laughs> mile 18 of the day. Really happy how that went today. Just felt really good. 
one of those days where you just feel like you're kind of playing and like squeezing the pace up and just having fun with it. I felt really good, like I can just tell I'm fit, which is exactly where I need to be. So I'm not gonna get too excited about it, but it's a good confidence boost. And uh, two and a bit weeks out, let's the taper begin. I want to be with you night and day, every day, yeah, yeah. What? All right, what does an elite do to uh, recover from a mammoth session like that? Supposed to be real. <laughs> Have a banana. Sorry. I mean, have a banana. I will go home, have a shower, rehydrate, refuel, get a good amount of carbs and protein in, something tasty. Kind of do less for the rest of the day, but also keep moving. So I don't want to sit still for hours on end. I've got a couple of calls, I've got a podcast, and then I'll just kind of maybe do a bit of mobility work either this afternoon or this evening. Just stretch my hips out and stuff and do a bit of dynamic moving to enhance that recovery and just, yeah, keep moving. The world is your oyster. And if you're lucky, before I go to bed, before we round off the video, I'll take you through the splits and the data of the session. All right, we're shaving my head because it's got a bit long. So we're gonna try shave it with my beard trimmer, which is probably not the thing you should do. And I'm being trusted to use the shaver. Yeah. It's proven that this helps recovery as well. Wow, did you go get your hair cut? Who, who cut your hair? It looks so good. I know. She's expensive. She is, yeah, it looks like she's worth it though. I would pay, oh, this bit looks a bit patchy. <laughs> <laughs> It's not perfect, all right? It's the first time Philly's ever cut my hair, so. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, from afar. Why are we doing chins? I don't know. <laughs> um, you know when you told the people that you shouldn't be sitting around for hours? Mm-hmm. Can you show me an example? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Promise the very patient people your splits. Yes, I did. Give them what they want. Well, uh, uh, uh. Okay, let me just open up my Coros. The Coros Training Hub. That is where the knowledge is stored. Now, so, to recap, Coach had said, let's try and run 540 to 550 for the mile splits. Eight of them. And then keeping the float roughly a minute per mile slower than that, so 640 to 650, but she would rather that slipped and got slower to keep the miles in the 540 to 550 region. Okay? Okay. So the splits. 544, 541, 546, 541, 535. Oh no. Can you put a hand here with five up so I can use my other hand? Why don't you just do the next number digits on your... Because it needs to be five there already, right, then I've got all six. Right, all right, I'll do it. 533, 528, 527. It was a good session. And then in terms of the floats, they're all 702 to 650 something. So they, they're a little bit slower than a minute, but I think the quality in the reps is really what we were going for. The Okay, the second to last float was 727. So I was kind of getting to the point there where I knew that it was gonna start to affect the last rep. And I really, really wanted to run the last rep quicker. And I did. So I think that's the best that session has ever gotten at altitude. And I had two extra reps than I've had before. So kind of what you need for your last big session before the taper begins, because it's just a bit of a confidence booster. I'm fit and I feel good running fast and could have probably done one more. So yeah, I was really happy with it. And um, I guess I should probably give you some credit for being my coach and my cameraman and my 
cheering person, yeah. bottle man, mm -hmm. and all round amazing human being. So Thanks. everyone at home, a round of applause for Daniel as well. Thanks. Mm. Which means we are about to start the taper, people. Two weeks and two days from today, this workout until Houston Marathon and one week exactly by the time this video comes out. Ah! Love the grand. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to our channel. <laughs> yes. We should put that at the end.